Let's lift our hands and speak to the Lord tonight. I'd like us to say, Father, do something marvelous. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. Father, we thank you. Let this not just be a meeting of excitement, but let it be a genuine encounter. Talk to the Lord tonight from the depths of your heart because his presence is in this place. Thank you, Father. Because tonight, Jesus will be exalted. For the earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. The worlds and they that dwell therein. He has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek thy face, O Jacob. And so lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors. That the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? It's the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts is His name. Father, we truly, truly release ourselves tonight. We pray that you give us an experience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I honor every servant of God in this place. Mr. Moses, it's good to see you, sir. God bless you. I honor every campus fellowship and everyone who is doing great things for the king. May the Lord bless you. Steve Strings, thank you so much. God bless you. He's not around. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I trust that God will help us to understand certain principles tonight and we pray. By God's grace, we won't stay long. Just share a few thoughts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. Let's get to the business of the night so that we'll conserve time. Hallelujah. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. Sing, Lord, you reign. Sing, Lord, you reign. crown you king and we crown you lord take your place in the name of jesus christ hallelujah joshua one tonight i want to just exhort us briefly on how to take territories i'm talking about territorial dominion hallelujah God's principle for taking over any territory. I'll try to be as simple as possible because I really want us to understand and pray. Praise the Lord. Joshua 1 verse 1. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, 
it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Verse 3, can we read it together? One, two, read. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your border. Verse 5, let's read together. One to read. Yet shall any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail thee, nor for thee. Hallelujah. Now, I want to speak briefly on territories. I want us to, if you're writing, please write. I'd like us to understand a few things about territories. Hallelujah. I'm talking about dominion over territories. Number one, it's important for all of us to know that a territory consists of certain things. There are certain things that make up a territory. Hallelujah. Number one, land. You must have a geographical space. Land. Number two, you must have people around that territory. Number three, there are natural resources around that territory. Hallelujah. Number four, there is always a government that coordinates the affairs of that territory. Hallelujah. Whether it is a physical government, whether it is a spiritual government, and please follow me because it's important for us to understand this. If we can get this, then we will be able to follow. Hallelujah. And so you have land, you have people, you have resources, and you have government. You also have influences over that territory. Influences over that territory both spiritual and physical and this is what makes up a territory so when we are talking about taking dominion influencing and exercising the rule the reign the sovereignty of the king over a territory we must first understand what we are talking about hallelujah because you know a lot of people come for meetings like this and we don't even know what is being taught hallelujah we just come and rejoice and live happy with one or two prophecies it's important that we understand what god is saying what god is doing and how to align hallelujah because i want us to have victories in our lives and for the students um, the campus is yours for the taking hallelujah it has never been the bible says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend he said for as long as i am in the world i am the light there is no contention for as long as i am in a territory i am the light great men like archbishop benson idahosa demonstrated territorial influences hallelujah they were agents they were doorways through which the sovereignty of god was enforced within a jurisdiction and that's why when he sent the apostles Oh, he, he was about to give them the mandate in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He said, and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Why? That you be witnesses unto me. First, in a territory called Jerusalem. Then a larger territory called Judea. And then Samaria. He would have just said the ends of the world. But he wanted to, us to know that dominion is territorial. So he took out time to meticulously explain the progression in the territories. First, Jerusalem, and then Judea, and then Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Hallelujah. And so it's important for you to know that every territory has a culture. That's the next point I want you to note. Every territory has a culture. 
a culture attempts to define the way of life of the people their mindsets their ideologies their modus operandi their principle of operation every territory when you go to the east there is a way they behave as a result of their territory hallelujah there is a way they behave there is a way they eat there is a way they talk there is a way they greet hallelujah when you travel down the north there is a way they behave the influence of the territory over the people so a territory affects the culture of people their way of life their understanding their interpretation of reality hallelujah say after me culture the word culture is very important because every culture attempts to open us up to the value system of that territory hallelujah a sister must not tell you she's a yoruba girl there is a way she behaves that will reveal to you the territory that she's coming from is that correct and so if the bible calls us citizens of a kingdom then it means that we have a culture we have a territory a jurisdiction hallelujah praise the lord and so you need to realize these are foundational principles of dominion that you must understand that authority in the realm of the spirit and in the earth realm is territorial the fight of the kings all through genesis right until the new testament has been fight for territory is that correct fight for ter more land more people. the more land land mass territorial influence a king had it defined his greatness in ancient times so they consistently were in a journey to dislodge other people and gain ground and this is an adumbration the prototype of what the be doing hallelujah praise god culture the way of life of the people and another important truth i want you to get is that the culture that is in a place is also a reflection of the influences that are at work in that territory right this is very important the influences in a place control and define the behavioral patterns of the people this is the reason why many geographical locations around Africa are associated with certain things. Are you listening to me? There are certain tribes that people say, ah, these people in this geographical location, men are irresponsible. In this geographical location, um, you know, there are certain traits that are common to people, drunkenness and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. These are as a result of territorial influences. You need to just step into a territory and look at the way of life of the people. And then you can know the kinds of forces. If you step into a place where Jesus is Lord, you just need to look at the people and it will tell you what influence or what spirit is behind the culture of the people. Are you understanding tonight? So these are basic points that I want us to get even as we approach the subject of dominion and take over. So when you are about to enter a city, you not only study the landmass and the people, of all of these factors that I have given you, the most important are the spiritual influences that coordinate the activities of territory. And the structure of the kingdom from which Satan mimicked to design his organogram is such that God appoints um, territorial influences. And that's why when he founded a garden, the Bible says he planted a man. Hallelujah. And he filled that man with his spirit so that the spirit of God becomes the influence that coordinates the activities of that territory called earth. And by reproduction, other sons will be born out of that mindset and will be under the governing influence of that spirit. So in every given territory, there is a spirit that is at work. That's why when you get born again, you only transfer allegiance to spirits. From one spirit to the other. At every given time, there is nothing called neutral. At every given time, every man is under the influence of a spirit. That's why the Bible says, as many as are, the word led there is, as many who will permit themselves to come under the influence of the Holy Spirit, they are the sons. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says the sons of disobedience. It says the spirit, the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that is at work. That means when you see sons of disobedience, there is a spirit that is at work. Are you following me tonight? Hallelujah. So when we understand this, it becomes easy to dislodge territories and enforce the value system of the kingdom. Hallelujah. It's not just about confession. I take it, I take it. Uh -uh. Otherwise, many people would have taken certain territories in their lives. Hallelujah. The Bible says, they know not, neither do they understand. And so they walk in darkness and the earth is out of course. He said, but have I not said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Listen, it takes understanding of the way the realm of the spirit was designed to operate, to rule and to reign in life. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, believers do not have this understanding of how God's system was designed to function. That's why the Bible says, I see a mystery. It says, servants are riding on horses while princes walk afoot. But I pray that the Lord will give us understanding tonight in the name of Jesus. Now, in ancient times, some of you have watched um, all kinds of Scottish films or read the Old Testament. You understood that every time they wanted to take over a territory, please follow up carefully. The first thing they do, listen, is to send spies to go and survey the territory. Are you following me now? Now, these spies come into a territory and they attempt to study the way of life of the people. They disguise themselves and they study. They attempt to understand the weak points, the blessings that are within a territory. And then afterwards, they take word. And what happens? The moment they take back the reports, the mighty men begin to prepare because it's time to take over the territory. Are you listening to me? And then a strategy is usually given unto them based on their findings of the territory they want to conquer. There are three things that must be done to conquer any territory as revealed from scripture. Number one is that the mighty men in that must be conquered. If the mighty men are not conquered, then that cannot be taken. Number two, the climax of a defeat of any territory is a capture of their king. Hallelujah. When you capture the king in any territory, this is why Goliath, the Bible tells us that a man Goliath of God, having six fingers and six toes. These were some of the descendants that came as a result of the aberrated intercourse between the fallen angels and the daughters of men. They began to give birth to people who, who assumed a structure that was not God's original configuration. Six fingers, six toes. A man who was a giant. Hallelujah. And he seemed to be the strength of the Philistine army. And they came before the nation of Israel. And he began to roar. It was a hunger to take over a territory. Are you following me now? And all the mighty men stood still. They could not do anything because the great man Goliath was roaring. And now you notice what happened. There was an agreement. Every time you defeat the king in any land, the remaining citizens become your slaves. These are mysteries in the spirit. Please listen carefully. Every time you capture the king of any land, all the citizens become subject to you. And so you will understand Psalm 66 verse 3, which says, How awesome are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves to you. Through the greatness of thy power. So you can step into a territory with an understanding and you can live and reign as that does not exist. Hallelujah. Are you learning something tonight? And so you capture the mighty man. You defeat the king. And then what happens? You send governors to take over that new territory and begin to teach the people a new culture. You dislodge the mighty men who protect the interest of that territory. And then you capture the king. And when you capture the king, you send representatives.
representatives from the motherland who already understand the value system you are trying to enforce and then they compel everyone to begin to follow a new value system these are spiritual principles hallelujah and so let's note the following points number one the dormant behavioral patterns in a territory is a reflection of the kinds of spiritual forces the dominant behavioral pattern in a territory so you look at the north for instance and you look at certain behavioral patterns and it helps you to understand the kinds of influences and now a lot of believers do not understand these things and that's why we fall victim Do you know that in a territory, even the citizens in that territory are subject to the power of whatever influence is behind them? Are you listening to me? Paul was giving us this instance when he begins to talk to us in chapter 7 of Romans. He said that I want to serve God, but I see another law walking in my body. There is another influence. So that with my spirit, I'm serving the Lord, but with another, with my body, my members are complying to another law and paul began to communicate his frustration he said so that the things that i want to do i do not find myself doing them and the things i do not want to do i find myself doing them he says oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from this body of death and then chapter 8 begins by giving us an unveiling of the spirits that are contending in the life of Paul. He says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Listen, who walk after, who walk not after the flesh, but after what? For the law of the spirit. So there is a spirit called the spirit of life in Christ. Has set me free, dislodged me from the influence of another spirit called the law of sin and death. Hallelujah so every time there is no empty territory without territorial influences man is designed to receive help from a higher realm than himself that's why there's nothing called an atheist that is just a psychological jargon every man subjects to a spirit of some kind knowingly or unknowingly hallelujah praise the lord so the dominant behavioral patterns in a territory is a reflection of the kind of spiritual forces. Number two, this is very important when you are talking about territorial dominion. Please listen. Listen. Territorial spirits have legal access to operate across the territory that they walk in. Listen. The realm of the spirit is such that every transaction that is carried out there is on legal terms. You don't, you don't cheat and navigate ways and follow shortcuts as we have in this physical realm are you listening to me when you find certain spirits prevalent in an atmosphere there is a legal ground that has been given to them this is why the prophet speaking says shall the prey be taken from the captive he say even the lawful captive that means there are some captives that are legally they are in captivity legally and please hear me it is so important for believers to get this now i know there's an exaggeration when it comes to the issue of demons and deliverance and so on and so forth but let me tell you something the bible says not to be unaware of the devil's devices there are many ignorant believers who fall into things they do not know and they do not understand but the bible says there were certain people called the men of issachar they had an understanding they knew how to interpret spiritual things and so they knew how to align themselves and to posture. The Bible says the moment they gave birth to Jesus Christ, there was a star. Other people said, wow, why is the earth bright today? But certain people called wise men. There was certain spiritual intelligence they had. They knew that this star would not just appear for nothing. And they began to follow this star. Other people did not understand. But Herod, who had the influence of the same spirit that had followed all the kings in the past, the same spirit in Ahaz, the same spirit, he knew it and by spiritual intuition, he said, call my magician. Something is happening in the earth realm. There were motions and shakings in the earth, but people did not know. 
It's amazing how things can be happening in the heavens. And many believers are just walking ignorant. And what we receive is the consequence, whether good or bad, of whatever happens. But they that are kings will be the one who will regulate times and seasons in the earth realm. The Bible says, God made certain lights to govern times and seasons in the earth realm. You see, so, when you understand this, you will be in total command of your territory. And every time you know this, there is a light in the realm of the spirit. And when forces of darkness see you, they know that you are not ignorant of these laws and the operation of spiritual things. Let me show you a few examples. The Bible talks about Jesus going to a city called Gadara. Have you read that in your Bible? And the Bible says, while they were going in the boat, suddenly there began to be a boisterous wind. Question, was this the first time they were... They were um, doing what now? Moving in the boat and sailing. The Bible, did you know that they were going to a new territory? Because the character of Jesus' ministry is that he moved from territory to territory. He said we must go to other lands also. And while they were coming, listen, the forces across that territory began to react. And that was what caused the bosterous wind. The Bible tells us that there was a madman who had spirits in him. And the Bible tells us that he used to live in caves. But the moment Jesus crossed over, the madman was already waiting with all the spirits. Who told the madman Jesus was coming to Gadara? Are you listening to me? Suddenly Jesus came and they began to negotiate. They said, ah, you are the son of God. We know this. And Jesus said, how many are you? They said, legion. Those influences brought that madman out to stand and say, Jesus, what have you come to do? To the extent, listen to me, that when Jesus was about to cast them out, what was their plea? They didn't say, don't cast us out. They said, don't take us away from this territory. Let's find peaks. We want to remain in this territory. Hallelujah. Are you seeing the reason why many believers, although they are born again, although they are filled with the Holy Spirit, they live as if Jesus lied to us in the Bible because they do not understand spiritual things. Territorial dominion. I'm not just talking about a car for myself, a house for myself, a wife for myself. I'm talking of men who stand to legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven. You have spiritual understanding to enforce the value systems of the king across a territory. Elijah understood this and a single man stood and said, over this territory of my jurisdiction, there shall be no rain for a period of three and a half years. He didn't say it in a radio station. He just said it. It was the whiplash of drought that started making people to ask questions. Who is responsible for this? And they said, Elijah. And they said, which Elijah for God's sake? And Jezebel, who was the wife of Ahaz, who had the same spirit, they knew who was responsible and they began to hunt for the prophet. They went directly to the person responsible. It was a clash of authorities in the spirit. When Moses, listen, in the, nation of Egypt, in the nation of Egypt, there were several gods, spirits, gods of fertility, gods of many things. That's why when God was calling Moses out, he said that he would go to Pharaoh. And Moses said, who shall I tell them and send me? Because there were many gods. If I tell Pharaoh, God has sent me, Pharaoh will say, which one? Which of them? Because there are many spirits. You see why Egypt was such, was the powerful world empire. Because there was an enormous influence of several spirits. They had free access to that place. That was the reason why even when Joseph died, he said, when you are leaving this land, carry my bones out of this place. Are you listening to me? Did you know why Jesus Christ, do you know why Jesus was on earth? His authority was not in the old earth. That's why when he was sending the disciples, he said, do not go anywhere outside the Lordship of Israel. You will be surprised. His authority was within that jurisdiction. 
until he died and rose again and he was called king of kings and lord of lords he said now all authority the remaining part go in that authority this is what jesus told us all authority in other words that's why see this is this is the contention that was happening prophetically in psalm 24 there was a contention for land every king was claiming territory and there was a verdict the earth is the lord's in other words nobody is a real landlord in this earth everybody met land the earth is the lord and its fullness thereof and then he gives us a proof the person who really owns the earth should be able to exit himself out and come back without any man's permission so when jesus died every other king that died could not come back that's why when jesus was about to die those gates confronted him they said lift up your heads and the gate said who is this king of glory in other words we don't open doors for men to get back that's why he said the lord the owner strong and mighty he said the lord mighty lift up your heads oh ye gates the gates and the doors are you they have voices they can talk because they replied they said who is this king of glory why did the, it was a contention of gates and a king who is this king he didn't say who is this savior who is this king who can go out and come back every man in the scripture who came back to life was raised by somebody else only one man raised himself back and he's the king that's why the bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord and who shall stand in his holy place here's the qualification he that has clean hands every king in the bible had his hands soiled with something but the bible says there was a man tempted like every other man yet without sin he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn that means made a claim that he could not back sworn deceitfully as a result he shall receive a blessing what is the blessing he will be called the king hallelujah mm. he say as long as i am in the earth i am the light this is not about making mouth if you don't know it you don't know it period and full stop hallelujah so what does it mean to take over let's write quickly to take over means number one to terminate the, the reign of the spiritual forces look at me look at me hold on i need to explain something very important now these demonic forces that function around territories listen they have access through what we call covenants 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 give territorial spirits legal access are you listening to me what are covenants an agreement that was made with these spirits on behalf of lands and people in the territory using a medium are you listening to me so uh, there, there is there is an instrument that we use to sustain covenants is called blood hallelujah the voice that speaks in the realm of the spirit for a covenant is called blood this is the reason why every time in your village and everywhere you go to a herbalist there must be blood hallelujah and according to what you want different bloods of animals and so on and so forth have levels of voices they can speak that's why there are certain things the herbalist will say this one is past chicken no, this one is goat is the blood of goats the bible says when abel died his blood began to speak he spoke so loud that it reached the heavens and god said whose blood is speaking and he looked and he said cain where is your brother i said am i my brother's son i say his blood is speaking when jesus died his blood spoke so loud it reverberated the heavens and the earth that's why all the kings uh, the priests the levitical priesthood and so on and so forth every time they sacrifice a lot of things now you listen these territorial spirits are maintained by covenants and periodic servicing are you listening to me this is the reason why every year they call some of our parents to go back home come with a goat in your hand now they are tongue talking believers but they do not have understand they just say it's culture there's nothing wrong they go and so and it has to be a particular medium you see the reason why 
kings don't sit in the throne of Nigeria. They sit till they die because they are mediums. You don't vote them and after four years you say, oh guy, you have tried. Go out. Let somebody else come in. No. Even if they die, and do you know they live very long? The kings live very long because they always exchange something to sustain their life. In the Bible, two mothers ate a child. So let the child die so that they will be alive. So it is a spiritual principle that people give others in exchange for themselves. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Even the father, when he wanted many children, he sacrificed his only son so that he can get many sons into glory. Hallelujah. So, those covenants, there is blood speaking. Listen, please, I want you to understand this. Do you know that someone, this is what brings about what we know to be curses, generational curses, and so on and so forth. And a lot of people do not understand the context of Africa. There is no time I would have traced for you from Genesis 11 how Africa came about. Are you listening to me? Because the Bible says after the flood, suddenly in chapter 11 we see one great man how he got great is questionable because he says and a man called nimrod kush he said he was a hunter what was he hunting where were the animals he didn't say he was a hunter of animals he just said he was a hunter and by some diabolical means he became so great and a leader over many people and this is the heritage of africa our forefathers were hunters i hope you know all right, let me just let me just mind my business and take it cool and let's pray and leave oh yes you look at america and you look at all of these nations they are about 200 years old that means one generation has died and gone but the you count just one or two generations in africa there was idol worship there i don't care where you are from you count one or two generations they were smart people with spiritual intelligence they, they knew how to manipulate spiritual laws and they made covenants and ordinances on behalf of people. So now, this brother comes and is born again. He's a new creation in Christ. Hallelujah. Yet, the covenants that were made on behalf of him and so on and so forth are still serviced daily. And the guy just gets born again and is moving up and down and wonders if those things will catch up with him. I tell you, it will catch up with him. This is what the church doesn't want to hear. But you look at the lives of many people. They are praying in tongues. They are fasting. You fast over issues. The heavens are not open because there are lawful captives. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? So there must be a higher covenant that is enforced in that environment to dislodge the legal claims of those spiritual forces and you can break free into a new territory. Our children, by the grace of God, will not need to learn all of these stories. But we are the ones who will pay the price. We are the bridge between a generation of abject idolatry and a new prophetic generation that God is bringing. And if we do not pay the price with intelligence, we will transfer this. This is the reason why the moment a woman is in that territory, the devil will seal her womb. Because the birthing of a new child is always a prophetic symbol of continuity. Receive a car in Jesus' name. This is what many people like. But the, the intelligence that will put you in command in life, many people do not want to receive. See, when you see a man reigning in a territory, there are laws that are understood. And if you do not know it, the Bible says you will die like men. men. <laughs> are you learning something? If many of our family members knew this, I tell you they will break free from the shackles of Satan. Now we just say, oh, you are born again and that's all. Truly, except you want to lie to yourself, you know that's not all. lawful captives this is why the it, listen he said i set before you life and death 
blessing and cursing but you choose life he said as for me and then he spoke on behalf of his house question why didn't they gather the people and say you son are you interested daughter he said as for me as the head of that territory i speak on behalf of my house we choose to bring our house under the governing influence of the spirit of the lord as for me and what my house so what many believers do not understand is we have been trained to see that oh until you are found in fornication or in certain kind of things and we preach all these things now someone says me i'm not sleeping around i'm not doing anything but why are things not working for me what you need to understand is the devil does not just look at a person he looks at a territory and when god is dealing with people he doesn't just look at a person he looks at That was why when God looked at plenty people in the Tower of Babel, he said the people is one. Please, are you getting something tonight? Because we'll pray. So to conquer a territory means number one, to terminate the reign of spiritual forces over that territory. Number two, to invade the system and the structures with a new and a higher culture. Number three, to control the system, thereby enforcing the value of the king. Let me show you some territorial things and then you understand. All of you look up. When Abacha was president, Abacha was the, the head of state, what happened? Did he die? Did he die? He died, correct? Who was the next president? Obasanjo? Abdul Salam, is it not? Well, Abdul Salam was just interim. You wouldn't really say he was an elected president. Correct? When Obasanjo became president, who died next? His wife. Correct? Who was the next president that came in? The, who died? The man. Correct? And now the wife of the current president is sick. Do you see it? hallelujah number two do you see the trend of what is happening in this country that the deputies are taking the place of their governors suntai the governor of which state now he's brain dead right now from what information we gathered yakoa look at what happened to him governor chime the governor in kogi state you you just sit down and wonder and say wow nigeria is moving but let me tell you the truth if you are not strong some of our parents are victims of these things and they do not know one day you just see for no reason they return to your father these people are spiritual one of my friends used to work in a company as graduates they gave them fifty thousand, but the profits in the company collected 1.2 as salary the manager is not an idiot you don't be deceived by ait and nta i'm teaching you intelligence you really believe that this campus is just governed intellectually if you are still thinking that you better wake up tonight hallelujah there is high classified spiritual activity that happens on your campus i've had the opportunity to talk to all kinds of people i've had the opportunity to minister to people by the grace of god and i can tell you that i know this And if you do not understand this you may not reign in this life praise the lord there are some of you whose parents were supposed to be the next king the next this but because you gave your life to christ you left and as a result the man is just there praying two hours and saying god will help me and you are seeing the catastrophe of satan around but many people will not be humble enough to accept that i need the hand of god to get out of this predicament i made up my mind to deal decisively with anything that does not look like god and to bring my territory under the obedience of christ hallelujah hallelujah this is very important you must understand spiritual things 
after my father the next person whoever went to school was me after my father my elder sister that's my younger sister there my elder sister could not go to school for years and I kept wondering. I said, God, what is the meaning of this nonsense? I was praying in tongues, filled with the Holy Spirit. I had even seen Jesus. Yet things did not change. Hallelujah. And by spiritual understanding, I opened that door and I said, no way. I'm going to stand as a priest and enact a new order in this family and in this territory. When my sister was about to get admission, she collapsed. In the exam hall writing maths they gave her economics and they say she can't get economics i went back i said lord if i am in charge of this system then my sister must get it many of you sit down there and just allow things to ride over you see many pastors just sit down and just you think publicity and so on and so forth and blessing people is just by pasting poster and doing all of these things when you know how to take charge of territories, you will reign. Hear me when I tell you this. Bishop Oyedeko said when God told him that this was the place, he said for days he kept walking there commanding the forces to bow. Because he understood that there is spiritual intelligence. The Bible says you will not enter a man's house. Mark 3, I think verse 27. You cannot enter a man's house and just claim ownership except you first bind the strong man. This is Jesus talking. This is Jesus talking. That was why before the birth of Jesus, there was heavy intercession by two prophets called Simeon and Anna. They were clearing the way in the realm of the spirit and until they saw him and their time was up. And even the man John the Baptist began to prepare the way. Are you learning something tonight? Because see, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. If you talk, I've had the opportunity to have people come to visit me. Right here on your campus, there are sacrifices that happen day after day, time after time. You don't know. It doesn't happen in your lecture hall. Hallelujah. He said, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? But many believers just sit down and they say, Oh Lord, we thank you. Uh -uh. It takes understanding. If you have not dealt with the forces in the spirit, you cannot do anything in the physical. Goko Haram, before any one of them go for any activity, they must receive assurance from the spiritual forces backing them that they will do it. That's why they come with such confidence and slaughter people and do everything. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I went to preach in a place in Southern Kaduna and as soon as they lodged, they lodged me in, I just decided to rest. As soon as I placed my head down, suddenly a demon appeared to me. He said, what have you come to do in our territory? We are not disturbing you. Can you imagine? Ah. I said, interesting. What is all this nonsense now? Hallelujah. And I said, in the name of Jesus, authority has been given to me. I operate by a higher law. And so I have come representing a government. And suddenly, it had a ripple effect in the people as they came for the meeting. You don't enter a place where there are... You see the reason why many people organize crusades and don't go back home safely. They enter and just preach. Say, I don't care any devil. And they have not settled these things. Come on. You reveal your identity in the realm of the spirit before you march in. The Bible says Jesus would pray in the morning. And the next day he would step into land. Immediately the demons see him. They will say, ah, this is the guy we saw in the realm of the spirit. Don't let this body deceive you. We have seen you. He said, Jesus, I know. Where did they know him? Paul, I know. But who are you? Where do you stand? Many of you tonight, God is raising you because you have to take, before you take AB, you must sort out your own life. And some of us may need to go and help our family members. You must dislodge the forces of wickedness that are at work. Let me tell you something. See, you don't need to offend Satan. Don't trouble Satan. Satan doesn't trouble you. That's nonsense. This is not something you will keep pressing on every day. But just like you got filled with the Holy Spirit at a time, you must take this seriously and clear the way for your life. Otherwise, you will struggle forever. Are you listening to me?
This is very important. Many people do not know. You see, I thank God for the blessings that he has brought in ministry and other things. But let me tell you a little story. A day came in this city when I walked from the roundabout. You know the roundabout near Chicken Republic? I walked from there to aviation praying in tongues. Katapo kasata la kabunda kaya. Rakato barikata liana kambo sata. The Bible says, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given unto you. Don't you think anything just happens by magic? Hallelujah. If you are a man of the spirit, these things will not be foreign to you. I was praying one day, and suddenly, praying, praying, bam, I was in the realm of the spirit. And I saw a demon spirit stand with an eyes like an owl. And then it had a tail that was a snake. And he looked at me. He said, you think you are going to release the body of Christ into blessings? Let us see. See, this kind of experiences are not for people who are themselves. It's a mandate to set people free. Praise the Lord. That's why... There are certain people, listen, if you understand this, you can live under a perpetual open heavens. So that when you step into a city, the forces around that city begin to create an effect. Someone has stepped in. They will know. That's why you can invite someone. You invite someone like Benihin into Nigeria and the atmospheric condition will pick up the signal. It's an anointing in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. This is very, very important. And you must learn this. My grandmother was a traditional worshiper. A nice and honest woman. But when the masquerades came out to dance, they drank the beer close to her house. Now you get up and say you want to... You see, many of us were born in a nice private hospital with a wonderful bed. As soon as you finish, your mother was eating spaghetti, you were taking breast milk. And all these wonderful things. And so you do not know. Or many of us have come to school and now pretended that oh, nothing is happening. You hold on and don't take these things serious. And see the way, that's why many people, look at the graduates in Nigeria. First class, two one, second class, third class, they are roaming around. Yet the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I ministered to a man who someone appeared to him in a dream and injected him with injection. And he went to the hospital and they said he's HIV positive from the dream. What is your concept of takeover? Cars and houses? What is your concept? When you talk of taking over in, in a campus, I want to ask you a simple question. What is your concept? It first starts with commanding the forces behind the activities on this campus to bow. There was a time when we understood this principle. And I tell you, the power of the enemy on this campus. And when many believers came in with all kinds of laziness, There was a time the things that are happening now would not happen because God has ambassadors. So tonight, you want to take over your life, your family, your campus, right? You've got to engage yourself in the place of prophetic prayer. Standing, knowing that there is the blood of Jesus that speaks above and beyond any other ordinance. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting that spoke against us nailed it to the cross no devil can bring any cause over my life no devil can inflict me this is not just confession when your confession is not born out of a depth of understanding and revelation you are just a noise maker please are you learning something because we are going to pray have a few minutes and I'll be done in your faculty I, I'm, I'm glad there are campus presidents and so on and so forth. When you pray, realize that for many of you, you think your enemies are the Muslims on this campus. They are not. 
this is the problem we have with many people and this is the problem with many deliverance ministry pastor they keep telling them is your mother in the village it's not your mother it's not your auntie this is why i'm teaching you all these things because you will kill everybody in your family hoping that you are trying to find the devil these are territorial spirits hallelujah I was counseling a couple when the wife came and the, the man said, this woman used to slap him. I said, okay, calm down. It was becoming a thing of commotion and I said, just relax and we'll talk one after the other. And suddenly while they were talking to me, I just turned and I did not see the woman again. I just saw a man standing and I looked. You see, the moment you see things in the spirit, they are destroyed. Period. If there is a demon oppressing this guy, if I can see him in the spirit, that's it. Elijah said, if you can see me as I'm taking up, you will get something. Only if you can see. If you can see me. And Elijah kept looking, not with his physical eyes. Suddenly, he saw chariots coming. He said, my father, my father. And I'm in other words, I have seen it all. And the mantle dropped. He took it. He said, where is the God of Elijah? hallelujah and i just looked and suddenly i said thou foul devil and while they were busy talking the next thing this woman who was gently sitting down the next thing just turned into a wild animal and said leave me home. leave me I, i'm not disturbing you me i don't talk to demons i don't have that time that luxury of time i had a lot of things to do the bible just tells us cast them out now i'm not criticizing i'm not criticizing people but i'm saying you just cast them out because whatever they are saying is not relevant to me <laughs> hallelujah and then you sleep soundly If you do not understand this students there are some of you who are suffering things that are not your fault but because you do not have spiritual understanding the bible says they know not please take seriously what i'm saying well whether you take it or not it doesn't affect me i'm i'm i'm, I'm saying this thing to help you abu will not be conquered just by having a christian vc or having christian hods in every department if that's what you are thinking about you will fail because the bible tells us many christian kings who disappointed god and cyrus is who brought his counsel to bear once you dislodge the powers in the heavens i tell you you will ride gloriously to that territory this must be the first so winners are you writing number one you must engage in prayers for your life for the campus that's why God is raising different groups to pray and all of that. But all these pray for me, Lord, when will my wife come? Lord, I've been calling you. If you are not talking to me, I'm talking to you now. Respond. You must start thinking territory. Hallelujah. See, whenever you are thinking territory, then God will not anoint you. You know, many people want anointing. Many people, I've said it. People package all kinds of seed and come and kneel down and say, we want the grace of God upon your life. I tell the person, please get up and walk away. Because all these kinds of things, it's not about money. Are you ready to take the responsibility that comes with the anointing? Hallelujah. Except you don't want to serve God in sincerity and truth. But if you do, you must take over some territories in the place of prayer so right place of prayer many of you need to help your families take over that territory one night i went to court then the long tennis court was open and that was the day i settled it over my family it was a it was an it was a time a moment of heavy prophetic prayer and i began to speak I say I dislodge the powers of darkness that gain whatever influence over my life and my family. And I tell you, it was like a joke. The heavens opened. 
Praise the Lord. And we are going to pray tonight. So you pray. The moment you pray, number two, the Lord begins to prepare the army that will invade the systems when the power of the enemy is dislodged. Are you listening to me? Because when Satan is defeated, there must be a people who are already prepared, not being prepared. So the preparation starts. Now you study what I'm saying and see what God is doing in Nigeria. Are you seeing different groups, different ministries are already preparing addicted ambassadors in music, in arts, in sports, in ministry. Nigeria is in for a heavy shock. We are not ready yet. For the things that God is going, God is using campus fellowships as a disguise, a school of ministry to bring many people. And then God is already raising intercessory ministries. A time will come when the powers of hell will be dislodged in this country and over families. This is why God is preparing many of us before this word comes. So that the moment you pray, you can step in and begin to legislate you bring in a new order a new culture a new government a new authority oh nothing happens in my family anyhow what no not again when i was a child i have become a gate over my family nothing just happens i tell you can you become this tonight over this campus that every time anything bad is about to happen that the forces of hell are gathering and say we are going to victimize students suddenly god will raise a general it's not everybody that wake up certain people who have become like gps god's gps and he wakes you and says son make a decree over this campus and you walk around god can tell you just walk around from social center to not get praying in tongues people just see you strolling they do not know that you are partnering with heaven to legislate the counsel of god we need such kinds of people on this campus. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Because many people's families have suffered. When you do that, you can now enter the system. But when you want to enter the system, you see a lot of students, um, okay, they don't do SVG again, SRC, faculty presidents, and student politics, and they get up. They are not serious. They don't know God. They just have Christian names. They say, vote me, and they don't win. I say, you will never win because you don't know what the people are doing. You just get up like that and wipe sleep from your eyes. That's what has gotten a lot of our parents into trouble. They say they are going to vote cop um, for the the uh, what do they call them now union of your father's workplace the colleagues are sacrificing people and babies our parents are not born again they just say i'm intelligent they go and enter using brain and leave half paralyzed what happened half paralyzed they know not neither do they understand and you start wasting all the money in your house trying to treat something that must be responded to spiritually but the moment a general shows up in that family he says i see the handwriting on the wall and while the rest do not understand it is mene mene tekel ufesen and you prophesy and say you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting he said the spirit of the lord is upon me he has anointed me to do the following he started listing it he said to open up the prison what prison believe what i'm sharing with you because it will set you free many sicknesses are not sicknesses many challenges are not challenges you write exam your paper is missing you are laughing about it you think the solution is impartation say after me territorial dominion stand up with authority and you can legislate don't let things happen around you and just laugh about it many of us were taken to shrines who were dedicated many things happened to you you just bought god born again and said okay no problem i'm a new creation in christ hallelujah everybody is dying in your family and you are seen if you don't do anything about it the devil will eat up your life i tell you we're going to pray we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. 
I told myself as long as I am in Zaria the forces must bow and I tell you they will bow again and again without fail through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves it is not without power they will submit themselves Bible says be bold like a lion and gentle like a lion many of you your gentility and ignorance is punishing you and your family We are going to pray tonight. Because there are people who step into territories. ABU is a cheap thing. The devil has been defeated. If you attack this thing just by, let's rush. And no, 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 no. You wonder why they'll never allow a Christian student get first class. They'll never allow people. It won't happen. There are forces behind this wickedness. The Bible says they are called spiritual wickedness. See, when Daniel was praying, the Bible says when he was praying, the angel was already bringing his prayer request. And the prince, the power in charge of the territory of Persia, intercepted. And in the realm of the spirit, the prayer could not come. Until Gabriel, and he was there praying. Daniel did not go out to start insulting the king. He was praying. While he was praying, there was victory being wrought in the spirit. And the angel came and appeared. I said, from the very first day you began to pray, God had your prayer. But in the realms of the spirit, there were territorial influences. But through the greatness of thy power, will thy enemies submit themselves. I made up my mind that any, 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 any territory I enter, Whenever I enter, I speak to the heavens as an ambassador. And I say, servant of the most high has come. And tonight, let me tell you something. We are going to dislodge some forces over your life in this place. Yes, this is why you came tonight. And then we will prophesy. Listen, if you know where you stand, you have the right to remove any lecturer or anybody that will not legislate the council of heaven. The Bible says they know not. Hallelujah. The person who tries to take my life, I'm even afraid for him. It's not, it's not for myself. One day I was driving, we're driving back from, from Abuja. And I passed something and I told my driver, I said, did you see that thing there on the road? It's a charm. And he laughed. I said, I'm not a demon, demon person. I'm just telling you. Do you know one car just came and passed and matched it? It wasn't up to 15 minutes. That car just moved in front of us and went and entered the ditch and died. I told him, I said, you see that? When you understand this, you will know that you can't die anyhow. Death is a spirit. It has an ear and it can hear. When the plane crash that happened, our condolences to all the families that were destroyed. I was going to Delta for administration. And so I was going to go through Kano to Lagos and then to Delta. When we got to Lagos, we could not land for over 30 minutes. I began to sense in the clouds that there's, there's blood, blood thirsty demons wanting blood. I hope you know that what happened in that plane crash was a demonic thing. Is blood in preparation for 2015. It's not like there are specific people just kill. There are the bombing of churches that is happening. You people think it's jihad. It's not. It's just bloodthirsty people who have been given things. This is this. God showed me the throne in the presidency of this country. I saw three legs, and the head of a man was the fourth leg. Don't be ignorant, brothers and sisters. Don't be ignorant. You are in Africa. You are not in America. You are not in Europe. It's not for you to start thinking, Satan, Satan, demon, demon. Uh -uh. But when it comes to your territory, you must take charge. For any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. Many of you have sat back and allowed the devil to have a convocation around your family. They are not born again. They are not filled with the Holy Spirit. But you are born again. Why won't you stand up and do something? The day I knew this, I sounded a warning to the forces of darkness. I said, wherever you see me, you know it 
and you go and ask the devil whether he knows me or not I don't have time for nonsense when it comes to things no I don't you must change your story someone says a door will not open up to you it didn't open for your father it didn't open for your mother you come in with a new order that's not the time to chicken out and you are waiting for one anointing service lift up your heads oh ye gate and be ye lifted oh ye ancient doors don't let nice suit and gucci and the rest lie to you if you don't settle these things you will be punished again and again in life there are many ministers who start up ministries and do not know the forces that are at work in a territory. And suddenly you find out a man, two years in ministry, a scandal has come. Something has happened. That's how he chickens out of that ministry. He's anointed, but no spiritual intelligence. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? Because we are going to stand up and when it's time to pray, I don't want you to pray. If you don't want to, you can leave. But you need to pray and say, Lord, it's time to first take the territory of my life and my family. I've allowed Satan to have a right. Yes, there may be legal holds, but I'm born again. There is the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. And I have no association with my lineage. The Bible says we have been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation. But if you don't enforce it, it won't happen automatically, my brother. It won't. It won't happen automatically. It won't happen automatically. And then you can begin to pray and legislate. Pray for your department. Pray for your lecturers. And say they are under the influence of the Holy Spirit for as long as I'm offering this course. Anybody that says students must fail, you say it's not... There is an influence above you that will compel you to prosper every student in my class. That's how to reign. Oh Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. One more time. Lord, you reign. Shalabakata la banda prasta takata baladaba. Rakata praska banda kresa gede belere bokoto froda dalarba. I worship you. Yahweh. Yahweh, my father, you are bigger than what people say. Yahweh, 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 you are bigger than what people say. Yahweh, one more time, Yahweh. Alaba shata la caprande catabella de bocosa. Rakata pasa prata catabella de bocoto prakata. Mam prataka pale cataba. You are taking over the territory of your life, the territory of your academics, the territory of APU, the territory of Zaria. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Every time. You pray in the realm of the spirit. Listen to me. You are not, do not approach the devil like you are fighting. This is where a lot of people suffer and punish themselves for nothing. You are already standing in a position of victory. The Bible says in Job 22 verse 28, it says, And thou shalt declare a thing. Many of us pray, we ask God things. But you don't, he said, if thou shalt say, not to God, to this mountain. The mountain has ears. The prophet said, all earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray. I'd like you to pray and say, I'm born again. I'm a child of God. The blood of Jesus 
speaks better things in my life go ahead and begin to pray I'm born again I'm born again you are sounding it in the realm of the spirit come on walk around and pray like a priest Kapa shata la kaposa, brata kate kroso soba, mam brata ke pros kose kea, rakata liata, mam brikata lialaba. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, and behold, the new has come. Malakata pros kope ketea, mam brata kala baraba osaba. I'm born again, washed by the blood of the Lamb. Maleketos kosekea, rapata kaproska, mbrekete kete lekoto supa, raposka la preskea, mbrekete leka poshata, makriete lekombriata, apraska la da sekete lekosa, mekriete ka, raposka, mapasi kete lekosupa, mbrekete kete bosha, mbrata zike lekosia. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now listen, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. He said, I'm bringing every thought, yes sir, to the obedience of Christ. You are going to speak, hold on, listen, you must speak like a king. You have the backing of heaven. I like you to begin to speak and command all the forces of darkness around your life and your family. I like you to declare and say, I come in the name of Jesus. Every mountain be lifted, every covenant of darkness be broken over my life, over my family. I have no agreement with failure, I have no agreement with defeat. I'll be raised up above thrones above dominions make sure you are praying legislate in the name of jesus command victory through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves satan the lord rebuke you satan the lord rebuke you lift up your heads Oh ye gates, be ye lifted, oh ye ancient doors. Over my life, over this campus, come on, pray. Over your family, I like you to pray. I break the hold of ordinances and covenants and everything, every act of witchcraft and divination. You are rendered null and void by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I set myself free. I decree and declare it shall not have hold over me. The blood of Jesus takes me above. Make sure you are praying. I decree and declare every force of death, untimely death, failure, defeat, sickness, I command you be loose terminal diseases pray mataka palarabosha mam pretekete i shall not die but live to declare the works of the lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken from the prey remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i do a new thing you shall not see the wind you shall not see the rain, but the valley shall be filled with water. Behold, I set before you an open door, and no man can shut it. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Declare in the name of Jesus. Speak to principalities. Speak to powers. Speak to the heavens. I command victory for my life enough is enough i release victory for my family hallelujah 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 look at me 
when it was time for the nation of Israel to invade Jericho look at the strange and prophetic ways they took over cities God gave them an instruction he said go around the city how can you go around solid structures something was happening in the realm of the spirit and on the seventh day he said go seven times after then he said the defeat is on so in other words when the realm of the spirit is settled no matter how strong the problem is physically it will fall when you run victories in the spirit lift up your voice and say i will conquer lift up your voice and begin to pray say lord i speak against strongholds pray in the name of jesus over your ministry over your business over your parents i contend with powers in the heavens and i wrought victory over your academics my cgpa must rise this is not my life this is not my result i take over 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 in your faculty take over dislodge the powers of wickedness pray for your department begin to command the forces to bow microbiology medicine engineering faculty of arts command the forces to bow command the forces to bow lift up your heads in the name of jesus Let the final year students go. Let the final year students go. We command from the realm of the spirit. No more student victimization upon this campus. We legislate as the parliament of heaven. We enforce. We declare. We decree. We speak. Let the powers in the heavens, according to the mystery and the order of day and night. Let there be a dislodging. For as surely as there's a night time, the morning arises. Let the womb of the morning be impregnated with breakthrough, victories. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you if you know the things that are happening in the realm of the spirit I know the things that the Lord shows me listen are you ready to pray for your family now let me tell you the truth I want you to stand and say I'm an ambassador and begin to legislate speak over the heavens command close heavens to be open lift your voice over your family command it command it he said has thou commanded thy money command it Command it. Command the heavens. Be open. Financial heavens. Be open. Marital heavens. Be open. Over my family. That cycle of defeat. That cycle of failure. Witchcraft and manipulation. Be dislodged by the power that is in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood over my family. I command breakthroughs. I command breakthroughs, miracles, signs, wonders, angelic manifestations. I send angelic manifestations to my homes, to my family. Let there be an operation of angels establishing the victory that is in the world. For are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister. Today that be the heirs of salvation. Rapa la dabanda, rapa sekete, rapa shalati aba, makapa takaladaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. The light shines in the darkness. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. Your
your light is shining, shining in the darkness. Jesus, many things are happening in families. Come on now, thrones and dominions being dislodged by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen, the Bible says in the beginning, Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 says, Now the earth was dark and void and formless, and the Spirit of the Lord hovered round the face of the waters. Verse 3 says, And the talking spirit said, Light be. This is what we are going to prophesy. Are you ready to prophesy? You are not praying to God. Take your position as a king and as a priest. Begin to speak over your heavens. Call the things that be not as though they were. Go ahead and begin to speak. I'm an excellent student. Winner's campus is moving from glory to glory. My family is breaking forth on the left and right. The siege is broken. The curse is broken. Make sure you are praying. For by thy words, you are justified. By thy words, you are condemned. He said, we having this same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and therefore I speak. Kabbalah Taba Sataya. I command light to shine out of darkness. God, who has commanded light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to reveal the knowledge of the glory of God as seen upon the face of Jesus. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Come on, decree and declare. I command the heavens open over this campus. Open over your department, over your faculty. Hallelujah. Look at me. I've taught you a principle tonight. We're rounding up. For anything you want to do in life, listen. For anything you want to do in life and any challenge you want to settle, you must settle in the realm of the spirit because it is only done in the earth as it is done in the heavens if it has not been established in the heavens it will not manifest here he told Job, he said has thou commanded your morning has thou commanded your morning he said this is the day that the lord has made the lord made it the lord made it this is the day that the Lord has made. Don't you accept anything to just happen around in your life? Listen, Christians, wake up. Take charge over this territory. For as long as you are in ABU, you are the light of ABU. When you graduate, you can pass the baton to someone. He said, for as long as I am in the world, I am the light. For as long as I'm in a territory, I legislate. Every other force will give way for Christ the King. Final prayer point. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's transforming everything in obedience to Christ He's recreating everything in obedience to Christ bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ listen you're going to pray for your life and your family and say from today I bring my family and my life legally under the governing influence of Jesus every other spirit that has been covenanted you are dislodged from tonight Christ is the head of my life Christ that's the great confession of St. Patrick 
Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ above me, Christ behind me, Christ before me. Pray. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, I remember not the former things. I break free from the limitations. He said the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents satan get lost be dislodged over every life come on pray and crown jesus lord you are lord over my body hallelujah listen look at me look at me look up please do you know many sicknesses are as a result of Satan wanting legal access to the bodies of people? The Bible says in the book of Jude that when Angel Michael came to take the body of Moses, what happened? He found Lucifer fighting for that body too. Are you listening to me? And Lucifer said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Satan contends over the bodies of people and he attempts to bring sicknesses. I was diagnosed for years with a fungal infection that could not be cured. My head literally became rotting. There was nothing they did not do with me. Listen, that which I have seen, that which I have heard, Jesus has appeared to me. He has given me understanding into these things. And if you don't take your place, you may die like a pauper in life. Do you know what it, hold on. Do you know what it means to dedicate your body? Look up. When you dedicate a thing to a God or a deity, you have brought that thing to the control and surveillance. Are you listening to me? No matter where you go to, on legal grounds, that deity has access to look at your life. And if anyone comes to collect it, it is the jealousy of Satan over the bodies of people that stop marriages and all these kinds of things. Because Satan seeks oneness with you, just like the Spirit of God wants oneness. And he will not want, just like God will not share you with anybody, Satan will not share you with another man or another woman or another thing. Hallelujah. But when you say my body is dedicated to Jesus, they do what we call in many churches child dedication unfortunately that's just religious activities in many circles but that you dedicate your spirit your soul and your body what it's what you are saying is lord take complete charge of me be responsible i tell you no devil born in hell can take your life no devil born in hell can inflict any nonsense sickness whatsoever upon you you cannot gain victory if satan has legal access so right now you're going to pray and say lord once again you have my heart my spirit my soul every member of my body doesn't belong to any herbalist it doesn't matter what marks of satan is upon you lift your voice and pray i dedicate myself the temple was dedicated unto god Jesus was dedicated in the temple. Know ye not that your bodies are the temple. Your bodies, not just your spirit. Your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says what fellowship has right got to do with darkness. What fellowship? To dislodge every terminal disease. I don't care what it is. HIV, AIDS, cancer, genotypes, terminal diseases, heart condition, diabetes. They are just demonic manifestation with scientific names. Get that devil out of your life.
I belong to Jesus. My voice, my life, my talent, my skill, officially and consciously, I dedicate my life. I dedicate my life. Hallelujah. 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 I want to pray for you. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you from tonight. You will suddenly find out that many things that were holding you down were because of these things. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you because you have prayed. I want to break you free from every yoke of darkness that is upon your life. I've had a burden for families in the last two or three months. It's amazing. When God opens your eyes to see what Satan is doing in many families. And our selfish Christianity is not allowing us to take hold of these things. But tonight I see victory. I see miracles. Signs and wonders. In the glory. And the power I see miracles Let me pray for you Lift your hands That the Lord will set you free tonight Listen Some of you will be very surprised You may not know what is holding you down Are you listening to me? Lift your hands Thank you Jesus because you will go free, oh. you will go free, you will go free, you will go free, you will go free. <laughs> Lift your hands. Because I see what the Lord shows me in the spirit. Father, as I begin to pray for you, the anointing of the spirit will move across this place in a few minutes and set men free. Please make sure you open your spirit. Enough is enough. Are you listening to me? You are taking over tonight. I'm taking over. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every force of darkness and every foul spirit and everything that does not name the name of Christ over lives and over families. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your hands. I command that power be broken now in the name of Jesus. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. Over your family, be broken now in the name of Jesus. Be broken now. I set you free from ordinance of darkness and covenants and enchantments. Kaparikat. Be broken. I set altars of darkness. Every devil having a legal hold over any life in the name of Jesus. Go. Now, in the next one minute, Holy Spirit move across this congregation right now and set men free. Let the power of God blow from one side to the end in the name of Jesus. And every lawful captive, I command closed doors, Efata, be opened in the realm of the spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, ancient doors, I set you free the greatness of the power tonight let every force over your life your academics your finances your marriage bow 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 i like you to shout the name jesus once one to go one more time, shout the name Jesus. Rapata leke prosa. 
Napaka proskepa, kareke taleka pa, sata leke pasia. I prophesy, take territories in the name of Jesus. Academic territories be conquered. Financial territories be conquered. Geographical territories be conquered in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every ministry represented in this place. I open new territorial doors in the realms of the spirit. I invoke the forces of the spirit to align themselves for you. Let there be open doors. I command every department and every faculty in Amadou Bello University by this apostolic unction. Let every closed door be open in the name of Jesus. Doors of admission be open. Doors of graduation be open. Doors of first class be open. Doors of 2-1 be open. Let missing scripts be restored. I command financial doors. Favor with God. Favor with man. In the name of Jesus. And I pray right now. From the Senate. Down to every faculty. Down to every department. Let an angel as it were in Egypt. Move across this campus. As the parliament of heaven. Let the angel of the Lord move through every hostel. Suleiman, Ribadu, Amina, Akenzua, the dam, the basketball hall, social center. Dislodge powers. Dislodge powers. Enforce Jesus. I break the powers that are not of God. Wherever they be planted, whatever ordinance against this campus, I dislodge you. I release every fellowship into your prophetic destiny. Faculty of Arts, Blossom and Ray. Faculty of Science, Blossom and Ray. Medicine, Blossom and Ray. Every ministry on this campus and around this territory, the siege is taken. I release you to victory. Hallelujah. We pray for the management of this institution. Let the devil and the demonic forces, whoever will not subscribe to the government of God, tonight we dismiss them upon this campus. From the Senate through every faculty, through every department. Hallelujah. Once again, let the heavens be open over this campus. Peniel, the Bible says, and the sun rose again. And he called the name of that place Peniel. The lost glory of the church. It will no longer be called Ichabod, but it will be called Beulah, the place of beauty. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the atmosphere over Amadou Bello University. Make the condition plain for the sons of the kingdom. We level every mountain and we command it to become a plain ground. In the name of Jesus, every resistance in your faculty, either to worship or to have fellowship, I command the forces, give way right now. I return the permission to every faculty, every department. No man can take it from you because the earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. I speak to the earth to oppose any man on this campus that will not stand for heaven. O earth, hear ye the prophetic word of the Lord. Let there be an anointing upon the earth that will challenge every counsel, either in the secret or in the heavens. Let the earth speak against every voice in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I declare to you that everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon upon this campus i want to pray for the ladies i hear they are victimizing you in the hostel in the name of jesus between now and the next three days from the senate 
I influence a change in the ladies' hostel. Let it happen according to the word of the Lord. Let a decision be taken between today and Tuesday to begin to reallocate the ladies. I command it, I legislate it by the authority of the kingdom. I pray for the executives of winners thank you for putting this platform many of you may not understand what has happened in the name of Jesus let this fellowship be strong let the Lord strengthen your hands president let the Lord strengthen the leaders I'd like you to go with this word that you are a king and you rule over your territory yes territorial dominion when you stand in your hostel you are not a second class citizen for any reason it's not the issue of bragging it is so as you pass the walls of your faculty lay hands on them and say for the king for his counsel lay your hands you are anointed enforce the value system of heaven hallelujah call your family members speak over their lives speak over everything around you lay hands on your notebooks and command them to open up the lord bless you in jesus name